Perfect. Thank you very much, Martin, and thanks to that that terrific my 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 colleagues on that terrific R and D panel. And uh, and so another uh, USA India Chamber of Commerce Bio Summit comes to an end. As Martin says, it feels that every year we do this, it gets better and better. Um, it used to be this almost fringe event, and, and I was joking earlier that it's become the J.P. Morgan Conference of the East. And I think actually, in some ways, it has, uh, but but one up on what J.P. Morgan uh, does. Um, this was clearly a different format, um, not as uh, personal in some ways, but in some ways more personal. I think the interactions amongst the panelists were really, you could feel a lot of the energy. Um, certainly, based on the polling question, it's it sounds like there's tremendous optimism amongst all of you for what's ahead for us as, a, as an industry. Um, as we think back on the course of the day, um, let's pick out a few highlights. One for me, of course, is always India. You know, this, this conference in, in the end has so little and yet so much to do with India. I mean, it's an obligation that each of us have signed on for, which is to innovate and to make new medicines, but not to make new medicines for those who are privileged, but to make new medicines for everyone across the world. And there isn't a, a greater need in the world than for many of those impoverished in India, as we've seen, um, as we've seen, but represented by the uh, um, the, the, the horrible um, consequences of the COVID-19 infection. There's a second element that we touched on at various points today, which is front and center for all of us, which is diversity and inclusion. Um, I think all of us feel I speak for myself, but I'm guessing I speak for many of you, feel uh, an equal obligation, not just to providing access to our great medicines to people across the world, but to enhancing enhancing diversity and inclusion in our workplaces and our clinical trials. And the two are related. The two are related. My hope, I think all of our hope, is that the interests that we have today are coming together and commitment around diversity and inclusion continues beyond the blip that we're seeing right now. What, what we're seeing right now, the social unrest, the challenges we're seeing with nationalism, um, this extreme, this extreme um, right movement, it's, it's, it's happened before. And, and yet we haven't been able to keep up the endurance. It's so important uh, that we do. Um, uh, I guess the last thought, and then I'll, I'll, I'll bring this to a close, is that, um, is, is leadership. And we saw two great examples of, of leadership today in Ken Frazier and of course, um, Roy Vagelos, who hands down is the father of our industry. And if we look at a stronger ethical, uh, we can't imagine a stronger ethical um, scientific leader as, as Roy. Um, and you know, equally so in Ken, Ken's not a scientist, but Ken, Ken brings that spirit of what it means to be a leader in our industry. And then I look at the two individuals, Stelios and Matai, who, uh, who led and moderated those discussions, equally so. And then throughout all the panels, we saw great examples of, of leadership in our industry. I'm just so encouraged by what's ahead. We, of course, have challenges, but I'm incredibly encouraged. And, and so much of that is driven by, um, by all of you. And I'd like to thank you for that. And in coming to a close, and we will end on time, um, let me just say a few things. The first is, of course, reminding you again that we'll try to do this in person on June 22nd of uh, 2021 in Cambridge. And if not, we'll figure out some way to um, bring this group together. We had tried after last year to create a working group to try to enhance um, our, our, our ability to make an impact in India. Unfortunately, with the COVID-19 pandemic, that didn't uh, catch, that didn't really catch hold. Um, I think now what we're finding through this COVID-19 activity and, and, and all the collaboration that's going on is that we can do this. We can come together and we can make massive impact. I'd love to see that continue. And I know that many of you would as well. So at this point, what I would do is I would say thank you to Karun. So that's what I'm going to do. Karun, thank you very much. You are the spirit behind this meeting. You are a force of nature. You complimented me for never saying no. I actually, I try saying no many, many times, but you never hear no. I think, and then that's what makes this so great. Um, I'd also like to thank the board um, of the USAIC, which is an incredibly committed group of healthcare leaders that make this event happen every year. And before I hand it over to you, Karun, I'll say that um, at this point, I would uh, invite all of you out into the um, foyer for drinks and for a conversation. <laughs> 
So we'll all miss the conversation, but the wine is usually mediocre at best. So I don't think we're gonna miss the wine, <laughs> but we certainly will miss the camaraderie in the conversation. So that's it, and I'll hand it over to you for to, to close down the- Andy, once again, uh, thanks a lot. Wouldn't have been possible without you. So may I request all our colleagues, uh, Chris is here, Martin and Bill to say something to Andy and thank him. Starting with Chris. Sorry, I, I, I have, <laughs> I'm still listening to Andy here. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's a lag of what, 45 seconds to one minute. So, so Chris. Yeah. I have to say, uh, you know, uh, you didn't lose anything um, out of doing this uh, uh, virtually, uh, certainly on the, uh, the content and the passion and enthusiasm that was here. Martin said it very well. Um, and, you know, Andy, you just did a phenomenal job uh, today. I mean, uh, it's, uh, you know, just even listening to your closing speech and, and thinking about the humanity in, in science, which we often forget. And, and uh, I couldn't be more proud of you in, in, in doing that. And, uh, and Karun, uh, you know, it, it's not easy doing this uh, virtually, keeping everybody interested and uh, getting everybody aligned, dealing with the sound. And, uh, you know, you're indefatigable. You're um, uh, the energizer bunny. You bring everybody together. You boss us around, and we love you for it. And uh, so, uh, you know, well done on that. It's just uh, another phenomenal year. Thanks a lot. Martin? I, you know, I said at the beginning of the panel, Karun, you and Andy really pulled this off. And Andy's emceeing is, is better than I've ever seen uh, at any of those meetings. It's simply outstanding. And as, as Chris said, the way that you have brought this together, Karun, with, I'm sure there's a, there's a team in the background. I'd, I'd like to thank all the AV people and the folks that, you know, coached us, gave us uh, meetings ahead of time to make sure that it came off well. I'd like to give profound thanks to those also, but marvelous. Thank you. Oh, excellent, uh, Martin. A great thought. I think the team behind us is Mass AV and uh, Joey Chapman, who has been coordinating with you. She's a senior director, has been fantastic, wonderful. Absolutely. And really want to thank her, you know, for you know looking at the details and making it happen. Bill. Well, kudos to uh, everyone. Um, you know, from Karun is always sort of the mastermind and, and energy behind all of these meetings. And, and obviously Andy, as the now venerable MC, um, now many, many years in this. Um, I think this was a tremendous, it was an extraordinary uh, meeting. Um, you know, I think Andy, you talked about how in many ways uh, it was actually more personable, more personal. Uh, and I think we got to see faces that we probably didn't see before uh, directly and close close up. So I think this intimacy, this uh, closeness, uh, really I think um, belies really what what I think our industry you know might might be be doing. Um, I think your last um, uh, unit, uh, uh, Martin, uh, really highlighted the fact that you know you have companies who are thinking about how we can do things better. And I think with COVID. 19. Um, it's a crisis. It's a crisis which prevents, uh, it's often spoken probably incorrectly about the fact that it provides a, a danger, but also opportunity. Um, and it's been an opportunity to think about how we do things differently, how we things do things collaboratively, and also how we deal with finally the whole issue of inequity in our society, inequity of uh, you know, resources, economic, but also when we create all these medicines, how can we be sure that there is equitable uh, distribution of, of all of these things? And, and I think many of these points were brought out and I, and I just am so pleased, you know, I too have been involved with Karen for a little while now and, and I, I'm so overjoyed with, uh, I won't say I have tears, but, but I'm overjoyed with the result today. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Uh, Andy, there is no wine. <laughs> there are no snacks. And there's no dinner. And then there's no toast. But the least we can do for you is at least clap for you. Thanks a lot, Andy. Really. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Let's bring it to a close. Thank you, everybody. We can log off now. Bye-bye. <laughs>